Hey, good morning, everybody. I am just leaving the Horseshoe Canyon Lean To. I uh, just showed you a shot of the river below us. Um, could hear it all night. Like, it was kind of weird. We didn't have water up where we were. <laughs> uh, we'd had to carry it up, but like there was plenty of water down below, so so that was good. So yeah, had a pretty pretty restful night's sleep. Uh, just me and Radar and Six Pack at the shelter. I mean, I think we're getting down to the nitty gritty like the last no is coming through i think so yeah the trail is definitely not very busy this week uh, at least not around where i've been so so anyway um i am now hiking out I'm trying a little different strategy i got one more water crossing to do this morning in about two and a half miles it'll be right before i get to ice man maybe a half mile he's supposed to be meeting me at a road crossing um so that i can slack the rest of the way um, into Monson, so super excited to see him. I think he should be there. I wasn't able to text him or anything because I haven't had service since like two days ago, really, or just for a little bit yesterday. But so yeah, I think he'll probably be there. So uh, maybe I'll get service before then. I can kind of update him, let him know I'm headed that way. But yeah, I got a pretty early start this morning. Kind of just I wanted to wait for daylight though because the hiking's kind of sketchy, so I wanted to be sure I could see real good. So. Like, for example, where I'm going down right now, it's kind of tough, but <laughs> just muddy. Um, just wet everywhere around here. So hang on one second. Yikes. Okay, almost there. Yeah, so anyway, that's kind of the plan. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen when I get to town. i got to figure that out. I need Wi-Fi really bad. Like, I've got all my videos caught up and ready. To publish well enough i told you at the sterling end the other day the wi-fi was just it's either the wi-fi or it's my program or something's not working good i wasn't able to upload anything like i started one and it was like still only like 27 percent when i left there so i just had to delete it so i'm good for the next couple of days but i've got i've got five or six that'll be ready to go edited and i just got to upload them while i'm in town if i can just make it work so Hopefully it does, we'll see. Cause if I can get those up, then um, even when I'm in the wilderness, I think I'll still have videos going up every day. Might miss one or two, but, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. So yeah, I gotta do that. I gotta get power, shower, laundry, all those kind of things. But Iceman's gonna be helping me with that, he said. So that's super cool. You gotta go to a store. Um, since I'll be slap packing, I think it's gonna be kind of easier. Like I can just buy a bunch of stuff. I don't have to carry it all every day. So I can just leave it in his truck. I think it's how it'll work. I don't know. I've never, you know, he slapped at me a couple of days, but <clears throat> but uh, not this extensively. So heard something. I don't know what it was. Um, so anyway, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I've got a new strategy. Um, since I only got one road, uh, river crossing today, I've got on my fresh socks and then gingies because the other ones are still wet. Yesterday I could not get them to dry out. I just didn't have enough daylight or or body heat or whatever so you know i got them just packed up in a plastic bag so my plan today is to try taking my socks off and my insoles out and crossing and then just putting them back in and see how that works um six packs said he had done that and it worked pretty good for him so like i said i would have done that yesterday but there were so many crossings it would just be taking them out putting them on taking them out putting them on so i thought it was just better just to walk through them yesterday but today it's just one over about a 10 mile stretch so i think that definitely may let me make some more sense. But yeah, I just went ahead and put the dry ones on this one. I was going to put the wet ones on. I was like, uh, why would I do that? I still got to walk two and a half miles and wet feet. So, like I said, I'm going to town today. So, just made sense. So, we'll see how it works out. Oh, yeah, I'm getting excited. I'm closing in on months. And when I get there, then it's 100 mile wilderness in Katahdin. And that's basically it. So, whew, can you believe it? I know y'all can't believe it. <laughs> Y'all see me struggle out here probably for the longest. <clears throat> Good old Iceman coming to help me is going to be a big help. But you got you to gotta say, he does not discriminate because he is he helped the fastest hiker on the AT this year. And now he's going to be helping probably the slowest hiker on the AT this year. So that's super cool I am. So. so anyway, I'll start rambling and start watching where I'm going or I'm going to fall. So. <laughs> and I'll get back with you guys up the trail.
pretty nice trail here this morning for the most part. Just be running alongside the river, it's over there. Okay, peeps, here's the river crossing. It is the East Pascataqui. I know I struggled with that yesterday and I'm struggling with it today. Pascataqui, maybe, something like that. But looks like there's some possibilities here. This log, maybe, but I'm probably just gonna have to walk across it. I don't think I see a good solid way. I might do a little investigating, we'll see. It doesn't look deep and it's not running hard, which is good. Yeah, there's a trail over there, I presume. Much easier than yesterday, people, I swear. Thanks to Six Pack for filming for me. He is from Georgia. The greatest state on earth, right? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, peeps, another successful crossing. Like I said in the video, that, uh, oh yeah, thanks again to Six Pack for taking that for me. Um, like, this was much easier than anything I had to do yesterday. It was basically just walk through the water about a foot deep, not flowing real hard, and be there. It was definitely the easiest one, but yeah, I was glad I got. Got to film at least uh, me coming through one of them at least. So, so anyway, so the sock thing seemed to work good. Um, I took the socks off and the insoles out and walked across with just the shoes themselves, and that worked really well. Like I said, they're and my feet aren't dry, but my shoes are wet and my socks are dry, which feels good. So definitely, definitely probably do that going forward because I got some more river crossings in the in the wilderness. Um, but yeah, like I said yesterday, it made less sense to do that just because i had to go through three or four like in two miles so rather than having to because this took some time to take them off and put them back on on both sides so so uh yeah but it makes more sense for one crossing especially on a dry day so anyway let me stop blabbing and go find mr iceman hopefully at the road crossing up here it's about a half mile away okay peeps i made it to the road crossing and there he is the one and only some people call him Ice Man, but to be fair, I call him Nice Man with good yeah. reason. So how are you, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for um, thanks for meeting me. I told him he. I said earlier to the peeps, I said this is a great guy. He doesn't discriminate. He has helped the very fastest hiker of the year, and now he's helping the very slowest hiker of the year. So uh, we'll try to speed you up. Yeah, experience. I appreciate it. Yeah, he's gonna help me get through the wilderness. He's gonna push me, and make me do it right. So <laughs> he's experienced. He knows what he's doing. Like he knows how to get somebody somewhere. Uh, so yeah, thanks. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. He saw uh, Nightingale and the girls last night at the hostel in not town. Nightingale, just oh, not Nightingale. Sorry, yeah. did not see Nightingale, but she he did see the trekking in the trail. So she made it okay yeah her and her husband i mean i want her to move fast but i'm also trying to catch them so you know i'm kind of conflicted there but anyway thanks ice man yeah. we'll see you after the trail talk to see you soon you. okay pete's time back on trail and i am fanny slack packing it as anonymous used to call it nothing but a fanny pack i've only got six miles of town and ice man is actually going to meet me at about three miles uh bring me another snack or something if i need it I think I'm probably good, but what a great man. Like, I'm so fortunate and blessed to have honestly probably the best helper on the Appalachian Trail helping me. Like, how cool is that? Yeah, looking forward to spending some, some time with him this week. He's, you'll know I'm not a Christian, but he's a very, very Christian man. And you don't have to tell me that. I can just, I just know, you know. He reminds me of a lot of the people from back home. Just super, super good. Anyway, he likes to help hikers, and he definitely knows, he knows the ones that need help. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So, so, yeah, we were talking a little bit about our schedule 
basically the plan is to try to hike into Monson today. I'm probably still gonna stay at the hostel tonight. If I can do laundry, he's gonna take me to resupply. Uh, I think there's resupply in the town, but he said he'd take me to Greenville about nine or 10 miles away if I need a bigger grocery store. So he's basically whatever I need, like, oh my gosh. I'll have to find some way to thank him. Someday, I don't know how, but I'll figure something out. Yeah, he had a little trail magic for six pack. Yeah, six packs up ahead of me somewhere. So I might see him in radar, or maybe at the hostel. So if y'all's is full, there's another hostel option. But I'm thinking, I don't think it'll be full based on just the number of people sleeping on trail. So anyway, I got a little climbing to do. So let me let me get back to work. I don't want to keep Mr. Iceman waiting. Nice view of Lake Hebron, I think it's called. And it's a lake, not a pond. It's unusual these days around here. It's like the sun's trying to peek out. It's been cloudy most of the day. This is more like it. Special thanks to the governor. See, sometimes you just got to reason with people. And they'll come through for you. About a bridge over every water crossing today. Kind of a miracle. Okay, peeps, I'm closing in on the road crossing at Monson, where a nice man is waiting for me, and he's gonna pick me up, and I gotta do a bunch of chores. I am trying to get back on trail tomorrow, because there's a great weather window for the 100 mile wilderness. That will be very helpful. Like, uh, there's no significant chances of rain in the next few days, at least not according to the forecast here locally. Obviously, it could change maybe as I get northward, but overall, it's really good right now, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. So. A lot of stuff to do today. Hopefully Wi-Fi, keep everything, get everything uploaded um, and all that good stuff and get power and try to figure out my resupply. It's a little different since I'm gonna be slack packing. Um, like I said, a uh, nice man's gonna take me to the store. I gotta pick up some things I got that have already been sent to the hostel, including an extra power bank. Um, so I have plenty of power while I'm out there. And then, um, I'm getting new shoes. I didn't really want to get new shoes, but like, I'm just kind of forced to. They're, these are just really, like I said, the fr white's pretty much fried them. So I want to have good shoes to finish out with and climb Katahdin with. So, and I mean, it's possible. I could be climbing Mount Katahdin one week from today. I know that just seems impossible to believe, but um, it could be happening. So, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I know it's kind of a short one. Sorry, I didn't have many views today. Um, it was just like a short hike. Um, only like seven or eight, well, let's see. I think nine miles total by the time I left the shelter. So, see, so anyway, like I said, I'm going to let it go here. And I'll get back with you in the next one. Like I said, I'll try to give you an update. I mean, there's a possibility there may be a delay in videos according to the wilderness. But it just may depend on when I finish and everything. So, like I said, just if you don't see... Any episodes know that I tried and we'll try to get back on track as soon as possible. I think I can really maybe can make it happen or either just miss a day or two, something like that. That is my goal. So so anyway, we shall see. Like and subscribe to see the end of this incredible journey. Been hiking since I started at Springer on February the 6th. I actually started at Amicalolo on February the 4th. So it is going to be a long, long time for me, but I've taken taken my time, taken a lot of days, tried to see all the towns I could see and do all the things I could do, and 
slowed down a few times for several different reasons, but no regrets. Like I've enjoyed everybody I've hiked with up until now. And anybody new I may end up hiking with in the next few days. You just never know around here. So, so anyway, I will get back with you in the next one. Peace out.